Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So who should I choose? Who should I choose? I'm thinking you to read from left to right. Lightning Pokemon can attack the opponent's bench. Lightning Pokemon are the toughest Pokemon. How about it? You wanna duel me? You bet I do. Okay, let's start. One match with four prizes. It's the boom boom self-destruct attack. <laughs> So, it's a pretty self-explanatory deck here. He plans to explode his Pokémon to do massive damage to my Pokémon to knock them out. Ooh, Magmar is gonna, gonna be pretty disruptive for that plan of his. And I'll just set them up like that, and we'll see how things go. I go first! Sweet. Growlithe is most certainly gonna go to the bench, because I got an Arcanine in hand, so I'm gonna aim to power that bad boy up. And with Professor Oak around, I'll most likely get the energy card to do so. And uh, he's gonna be wishing he'll be able to self-destruct this Pokémon, because that's gonna be like the most desperate thing he could possibly do. Because I'll be locking him down quite a bit here, because I'll, I'll just be continually sweeping his Pokémon if I can get uh, Arcanine out and power it up. Uh, basically, we'll see you here. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get Arcanine out, that's a guaranteed thing, but... Uh, what I what I want to do for sure is uh, get it in a position that I can just attack with a turn after turn and just sweep whatever the heck he's got out on the field, basically. So we're gonna see how that goes. Sound good? I thought so. So, aw, oh, poopers. <laughs> oh, my smoke screen doesn't always work, but it's always nice to have that option of it potentially working. Alright, so I'm gonna attach a plus power to Magmar, knock out ye all Magnemite, and I might as well start generating the energy and see what else I can do on my turn, even if it costs that lightning energy, because I don't think it's gonna be that important. Uh, yeah, ooh, that's, that's kind of a weird draw set. <laughs> I mean, I could just use Professor Oak to draw again, but we'll see how things go. I'll try it next turn after I get the next draw. Because, you know, I just want to see how things turn out, basically. But anyway, I got the first prize card here, which pleases me quite a bit. I am one ahead. He's got zero bench Pokémon. Somehow, I'm sort of kind of getting kind of lucky again, two parts in a row. Um... 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 <laughs> Let's see here... I guess I'll power up Kangaskhan, and I'll keep disrupting him with uh, Magmar's smoke screen. I'm not quite ready to bring out the big dogs in the form of our canine, because I just don't have the fire energy, so I'm just gonna keep stalling it out. Because, uh, as you can tell, Magmar's got a lot of HP, oh, fire energy. You know what? I wonder, should I... Uh, wait, isn't Magmar's switch... Oh no, it's one retreat cost. Yeah, if I do this... Attach that to Arcanine, then I retreat to Arcanine, then attack with Flamethrower, because I have three fire energy cards, I mean three energy cards attached to it now, two are fire. Discard one, Flamethrower, I win the game! <laughs> yeah, I don't think his deck was really working for him all that well this time, because uh, he wasn't really getting much. I mean, he was getting energy cards, but I was being disruptive, but he wasn't getting the Pokemon cards to, you know, prevent me from un pokemoning his side, basically. Uh, you better believe it. And... what do I get? What do I get? Oh, Gyarados! Awesome for a Rain Dance deck. Not only because its weakness is Grass, which offsets the whole Lightning weakness thing that Water Pokemon typically have, but it's easy to power up in a Rain Dance deck, because you can drop three Water Energy right onto that for Dragon Rage, or... Uh, paralyzed stuff with Bubble Beam. Very, very versatile card. Uh, you know, that uh, Kadabra is a pretty powerful, but very weak in HP Pokémon for a Stage 2. Uh, this, is, this isn't bad to keep it around, but uh, most of the time you're probably going to be wanting to use Super Psy because the whole discard thing with Recover stalling you and whatnot. Especially when uh, energy removal tends to be a very frequent thing and whatnot. Why did I click on Full Heal? Who knows? <laughs> Uh, okay, you see those? Let's see here, Pinsir. I think I went through this, that it's a sorta kinda iffy basic Pokémon. I prefer Scyther over Pinsir personally. In fact, Scyther is one of the best basic grass Pokémon, but I haven't gotten one yet. Soon, I will. Soon. 
I will. <laughs> Got another Raticate, I might want to add that in there. Uh, to balance out the whole Rattata squad that's working for me lately, I guess. Because that Rattata and Rattata Raticate line actually aren't too bad because of their whole uh, low energy cost, which is good for early game stuff. Uh, you know, for 20, 20 HP attacks. Oh, uh, wait, did you see this version of Tango? I think you did. Yeah, I think you did. And there we go. I will lose next time. I'm gonna zap you. Well, I wish you luck with that. <laughs> for now, I'm gonna go to this guy here, Brandon. I wonder what Isaac's doing. What? A Pokemon trading card duel? I'll be glad to duel any time. Why, yes I would. Okay, four prizes! Ready! Let's do it! Let's do it to it. Get those chili dogs. Got a juice! Another Sonic innuendos! Let's draw seven. <laughs> Um, da, 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 that's... Oh, that is not a very good hand. Oh, no. I See, Machop here requires one specific fighting energy. Magnemite requires one specific lightning energy. I only have fire energy. I guess I'll load up Magnemite and uh, save Machop on the side because it's fighting and, you know, electric Pokemon are weak against fighting. You know, sort of like a stall out thing. Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go. You never know. Fire energy. I guess I could plop it on Magnemite, because it can use um, a fire energy card for its self-destruct, you know, a little bit later on. Um, if I get a lightning energy, I'm actually gonna win on my next turn. I mean, if I get a lightning energy, I'm actually gonna win. Ah, oh, poopers, because he didn't have any bench- I mean, he doesn't have any bench Pokémon. See that little face at the upper left corner with zero next to it? That indicates the uh, bench Pokémon. The number next to it with the card with the Pokéball symbol onto it with four, that's how many prize cards are left. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like that I'll be able to win this turn, unfortunately. But I will, uh, set up the, for the future. I'm just gonna stall him out here. Energy removal, that lightning, and hope for the best. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Don't, I was gonna say, don't put a Pokemon on the bench. <laughs> uh, Kangaskhan. Uh, let's see here. I will retreat for Charmander. And I will, I guess, Ember. Hopefully. <laughs> because I, he might decide to use a potion just because I use Ember. Oh, well, maybe not. I, I'm not actually sure if he has potions, to be honest. I kind of forgot his uh, deck type here, but give me an energy card and I win. Well, actually, I don't need an energy card, come to think of it, because he's got 10 HP. I don't know, I'm just being stupid here. I've also got plus power there, but that's... this is more than enough. <laughs> well then, I, uh... Wow. Two duels in... Less than eight minutes. Huh. I could go ahead over and battle Isaac, the Clubmaster, if I wanted to. Shoot, I lost! Oh, no sense crying over spilled milk. Well, let's see what I get here. Pinsir, Gadabra... Ooh, plus power, very nice. Uh, maybe what I'll do instead is modify my deck a little bit. Perhaps, maybe. We'll see here what I get. Uh, Doug Trio could work with my Diglets, perhaps, maybe. But I don't really have the fighting energy. See, D Doug Trio is very specific in its energy type. Well, so is Diglett to an extent, but at least Diglett only requires one or two energy cards. Doug Trio requires four specific fighting energy for Earthquake. So, yeah. And, and Earthquake isn't even that good, because it does 10 damage to each of your own be bench Pokémon. I mean, it is... It does, 70 is a good amount of power, and it knocks out a lot of Pokémon, because 70 is like the threshold for a lot of Pokémon uh, HP levels, but... Yeah, it's just a difficult Pokémon to power up because of how long it takes. Um, let's see, did you see this bad boy? You might have. It's not really that bad of a boy, actually. <laughs> Nido King's much, much better, because it's got the whole toxic double poisoning type of dealio thing. I'm gonna really switch. Switches are a pretty useful card, actually. I know I took one out of my deck before, but they're yeah, they are a pretty nice card. Alright, so let's see... Oops, no, no. Let's see my deck. And... Now I'm gonna plop that other plus power in there. I'm just working on getting a, a Haymaker-type beatdown deck going here. You know, a lot of strong basic Pokémon, it's the easiest way to build a deck early game. 
And, uh, hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll... I might regret this because of all the paralyzation, but I might drop a full heal. If I... <laughs> well, maybe. I'm not sure, in all honesty. Um, look at that, I got more Raticates than I do Rattatas, and Rattatas are common. See that circle next to the picture to the right? Common? Uncommon. Common? Uncommon. <laughs> so weird. And it's funny, in my main save file on my Game Boy game, I actually have um, more double colorless energy cards than I do um, grass energy cards, somehow. I don't know how that how I managed to do that. But anyway, I probably should add in the double colorless for some of my Pokémon, come to think of it. And, um... I don't think I need that many lightning, so I'll switch on one lightning out. I'm mostly concerned with fire because of the whole discarding thing that fire Pokémon have. By the way, um, you know, you'll also notice that I'm using a three-color deck here of uh, fighting, lightning, and fire. But typically, I'd recommend that you stick to one or two colors because it makes the deck more consistent in terms of like energy draws and whatnot. The only reason why I am uh, sticking to such a deck style is because I kind of <laughs> am limited to the the cards that I can play at this moment in time. So yeah, well actually, come to think of it, I could probably uh, drop my lightning Pokemon and uh, up my fightings a little bit here could do that if I wanted to. Uh, but let's see if there's something better in the fighting here. Um, maybe not. <laughs> I could use the Onyx to stall, like put two Onyx in there. Onyx would be pretty useful for the uh, uh, Club Master as well. Uh, maybe I'll uh, do that. I'll do that. So I've got a fire and fighting deck now. No lightning Pokemon. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Forgot the energy balance. Um, oh. That actually might be an issue. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can't do that. Because I don't have the... The energy. Ah. I should have been paying more attention to my energy reserves. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to have to go back. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the flip-flopping. So, so sorry. Okay. Wait, actually, what I should do is actually keep the Onyx. Um, go with the Machop, drop the Diglett, and then go back here. Uh, I'll go with these Pikachu, I think. Uh, no, wait, I'll just go with the Magnemite, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. Because the Magnemite's got the stalling tactics. Okay, and you know what? I am going to battle Isaac. <laughs> well, that ought to do it. It was hard work, but here's our stage. Gotta keep it looking smart. I'm the lighting, lightning club master. Get it, lighting, lightning. I did made that pun on... I'll forget it. <laughs> sure, I'll duel you. Bring it on. Sparks will fly with six prizes. I'll show you what my lightning Pokemon deck can do. Zapping self-destruct deck. <laughs> <laughs> His deck is more focused than the other guy that had the Boom Boom self-destruct deck, but uh, uh, it's 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 a pretty decent deck actually with all its paralysis and stuff like that. So you got to be careful here. Uh, and unfortunately, I did not get my Onyx, <laughs> but that's all right. We'll see how things go, I guess. I'll start out with Rattata, and plop Growlithe, plop Magnemite, and hope for the best. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Oh, I go first! Please don't be Electabuzz! Please don't be Electabuzz! Oh god! Electabuzz! Not Electabuzz! This is probably one of the greatest basic Pokémon of all time in the history of the game! Not only can it paralyze, it can also do 40 damage for two energy cards. And it's got 70 HP! It's a beast! <laughs> It's, there's no other way to put that card. And I have to take it on! Oh god! <laughs> I hope I can get one, like an Onyx or something like that with uh, Professor Oak. But, uh, but the whole electric resistance of the quote-unquote rock Pokémon, like Diglett and Onyx and Graveler, uh, Geodude, you know, that sort of stuff, that's why I put them in my deck because of the whole lightning issue of his deck, so yeah, I thought it would... So I give myself an edge here now that I'm collecting more cards here. Gotta gotta pick your cards cleverly. 
I suppose you could say, and uh, I'm going to get Growl to set up here, and, 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 <laughs> I guess I could put another one on there for reserve, and, should I, Gust of, nah, I, b I best just keep attacking that monstrosity that is Electabuzz, <laughs> it's just to get it out of the way. Okay, so what do we have? Okay, we got Arcanine, that's good. So I can get that set up. Uh, though I don't have any fire energy, you know, it just has a lot of HP, which is nice. Alright, so... Oh yeah, that's right, I already attached one, whoops. Chances are he's gonna knock out Rattata next turn, so I'm just going to attack with the strongest bite that I possibly can, and leave it with 40 HP. Because he's probably going to attach another one and use a Thunder Punch. Oh no, he's not, really! That's kind of surprising. Although, if he, I was going to say, if he gets a heads flip, then it wouldn't matter, and he'd just knock out Rattata on the next turn anyway. But, you know, it would still be a whole uh, one-turn stall thing. Hmm... Uh, I'll pop that there. I should probably put Mag Magmar on the bench, too, actually. Uh, match up to... And... Nibble away. But Rattata is going down next turn, but it has done its job of weakening... The monstrosity that is Electabuzz. Eh. And bye bye. So he's one prize ahead, but that doesn't really matter at this point. At this point, because I'm just gonna um, counter him on the next turn here. Um. 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 <laughs> Hopefully, actually, I'm not really sure. Maybe I won't be able to do so as easily as I thought, because I forgot about my energy reserves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll just... yeah, I'll have to stall it out. I'll just let him nick away my HP, I guess, with Thundershock. If I was him, though, I would probably put more pressure on me with uh, Thunder Punches, but he might just be stalling to uh, power up bench Pokémon. Okay, I got Arcanine going there. That's good. But I wouldn't prefer to, you know, use... oh, that's what he was planning. He wanted to evolve into Magneton. Ah, he probably wants to self-destruct, you know, the zapping self-destruct deck. <laughs> Go figure! <laughs> and paralyze, of course. That's why Electabuzz is one of the best. Alright, let's continue to power up, and I'll just end. I could uh, get uh, the takedown powered up for Arcanine if I wanted to by attaching an, an, another electric energy, or lean lightning energy to it, but I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> I don't really know if I want to use Takedown, that's the thing. Um, if I use Takedown, it's gonna do 30 damage to itself, and he's got some pretty beefy Pokémon going over there. See, um, Magneton here will do 80 when it does self-destruct, and if Arcanine does a, uh, uh, if it does the Takedown, it's got 100 HP, loses 30, goes on 70, yeah, it's, it's a planning ahead thing. And if I put out um, our canine, and it gets self-destructed, it'll be, it'll be leaving one of my ace Pokémon with only 20 HP! So, yeah. It's a thing of... planning. <laughs> He's playing pretty well here, I gotta say. Oh no, oh no. That's bad. That's really bad. Fighting energy card, please! Oh, fire. Well, I guess I could continually power up our... No, I'll save it. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'll do that, and end. Because at the very least, I could uh, uh, self-destruct my Magnemite into his very tedious Electabuzz if I switch Machop out. But preferably, I'd like to get a Fighting Energy card and just knock it out with Machop just like this, because, uh, you know, weak to fighting, so... And then what would happen is that I knock out Electabuzz, that he knocks out my Machop with whatever he wants to put out, and then I knock out whatever he wants to put out with Arcanine. So it's gonna be an uneven trade-off on his part if I let Machop get knocked out like this. So yeah, <clears throat> so he's gonna do that. And I am going to do... actually this. And I'm gonna self-destruct it, I think. That seems like a good idea. Um, actually, should I use Super Energy Removal? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. 
because I can do that and then sap the energy away from Magneton and prevent his self-destruct. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I might have a good move in that move, so okay. If I would have had Defender, I could have saved uh, Magnemite, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal here. It's, it's still early game, because this game is for 10 prizes. So uh, you gotta think of the long term here. <laughs> so we're, we're getting a double knockout here, as well as some uh, damage to our bench Pokémon. Because of those, Self-Destruct does 10 damage to each Pokémon on the bench. Okay, he's putting out the big boy now. And now I got a choice. Should I put out uh, Arcanine? And risk some heavy damage on my ace, or should I put out something and retreat it when I can? I'm thinking of something, retreat it, and, you know, do it when I can. That seems like the better choice. So he's gonna try and paralyze, as I expected, yep. And of course he gets the paralysis. If he knocks out Magmar, it's not that big of a deal, because I'm gonna be able to sweep soon uh, with Arcanine, as long as I get it powered up. So, yeah, I'm just gonna set up the fire ahead of time there in case issues arise in the future, uh, because Magneton is his only ace Pokémon right now, so it's basically ace versus ace of strategy versus strategy on both sides, and what I'm aiming to do here is uh, knock out Magneton with the flamethrower. See, that self-destruct that I did did a couple more things than it appeared. It not only did a, uh, a knockout for both him and I, but it also got Magneton's HP within range of Arcanine's uh, flamethrower attack, which does 50 damage. How you like those apples? <laughs> and there we go. So there goes his ace, and now he is in trouble because it's sweeping time, baby. <laughs> and yeah, he's trying to power up one of his bench Pokemon here, but I bet if I played Professor Oak, I would get another energy removal card. Uh, because I, I'm, I've got a lot of energy removal cards in my deck now. I'm gonna do that. And I guess I'll Professor Oak just to see if I can get something going here. Maybe I should have put some Pokemon on the bench, but eh. No, no energy removal, really. It's kind of interesting because my deck is getting a little thin here. Now I got double colorless. But anyway, my, my main concern is the fire energy cards here. You know, these bad boys because of uh, Arcanine's flamethrower attack. <clears throat> Because I just want to flamethrower after flamethrower after flamethrower now, turn after turn. This is what I mean about Arcanine being a great Pokémon. Uh, because you just sweep with it like this. Granted, it's not... Arcanine isn't a super meta game Pokémon for this certain meta game, but it's a pretty good in-game Pokémon, because it seems like they don't really know... that the computers don't really know how to deal with it. <laughs> oh, energy removal. Uh... You know I'm going to use that on Electabuzz. <laughs> that monstrosity has got to go. Anyway, Flamethrower. Let's take him down to his last. Alright. Let's hope he does not have a Lightning Energy card and continually paralyzes my Arcanine. Because that would be really annoying. Oh god, oh he's attaching to the Magnemite. Really interesting. Uh, then that means I win. Because what I'm going to do here is attach a Fire Energy card. And, uh, I guess I'll plop some stuff on the bench for fun. <laughs> and then I'm gonna attack with Tank Down. I'll, I'll deal 30 damage to myself, but I'll do 80 damage to Electabuzz. Yeah! Another medal for me! Woohoo! That was a good game. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> how, how can my lightning deck lose? How shocking. Here, take this lightning medal as proof of defeating me. Woo -hoo! Yeah, I'm doing the master medals out of order here because I'm just doing them based off of my starter deck. And that's what I recommend that you do as well. You know, play to your advantages to collect more cards, basically. And here, take this booster back too. I got a mystery booster pack. Oh, Dragonite, which is kind of a iffy Pokemon, actually. Um... For, I mean, Steppen is pretty nice, because you can switch stuff out. Uh, but Slam is a little haphazard. It takes four energy cards to power it up, and it can only do 80 at max. It's... yeah... <laughs> uh, more of those special versions of the uh, EV Evolutions for the Game Boy here that use colorless energy. 
Uh, Prime Ape is kinda... kinda haphazard too. <laughs> Just look at that. You, you confuse yourself sometimes when you use Tantrum. Although it can do a lot of damage if you're lucky. Because, uh, you know, if you, do, if you flip heads and you don't get confused... Oh, another energy removal, yes! <laughs> um, clairvoyance is a... Uh, uh, oh yeah, I actually talked about this before, didn't I? Yeah, you can see your opponent's hand. Uh-huh. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. And let's move on. Let's see another Dragonite. <laughs> Two packs in a row. And double colorless energy. Very nice. Love this energy card. You can only have four of them in a deck, but they're invaluable. Uh, oh my. I maxed my deck out with four. Well, actually, I got five now, but I mean, I've, I've got a lot of them now, which pleases me greatly. And there wasn't a single new card in this pack. That's kind of kind of sad. I'm gonna polish my card skills. So come duel again. I most certainly will. Maybe. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. I cannot believe that I cleared out the rest of the lightning club in this part. That was really unexpected, especially since they, you know, tend a lightning Pokemon tend to stall a lot. But anyway, I'm I'm babbling here. Hope you enjoyed! See you next part! Ooh, high voice! Mickey Mouse! Disney copyright! Still babbling!